A high-profile legal fight is underway over fracking and the dramatic increase in earthquakes in Oklahoma. The state Supreme Court ruled homeowners can now sue oil and gas companies for damages caused by tremors. Before 2008, the state averaged just one over, over one magnitude three quake per decade. But over the past six years, the number has risen sharply with 585 earthquakes just last year, many of which caused significant damage and and injury. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is here with more. Ricky, good morning. Good morning. Is this a game changer here with what's happening in Oklahoma? That no. what, you don't think so? No question about it. Yeah. I do think so, and I think so really passionately because what's happened here is most of these cases, if they ever got filed, would go before a commission. And in Oklahoma, it was called the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. Mm -hmm. The commission could not compensate someone for damages, either for injury or for property. What they could do was regulate oil and gas. And when this case originally went to court, the district court said, as many other district courts have said, case dismissed. You're in the wrong place. Don't come to the courthouse. Why is this a game changer? This case open the courthouse doors, not only when we're looking at this plaintiff, Sandra Ladra, but potentially in Oklahoma and in other states. But Sandra's legal team, it seems like, has a very difficult challenge ahead of them. I mean, they essentially have to say this earthquake was man-made and they are responsible. That seems very daunting. It is daunting, and I do think that um, what you're dealing with is a very smart lawyer who has also set the bar very high. So he's saying, you know, this isn't a slam dunk. It may seem that way. However, it's in the old adage of where there's smoke, that's fire. What we're looking at here, we're not looking at fracking. I want to make that clear. Yeah. We're not saying it's fracking. What we're saying is it's the high pressure water disposal wells. And what happens here is what he has to do as her attorney is show this company, in this case, two companies, it's these companies and their wells. The science is becoming abundantly clear. It is growing and growing. And what we look at with science is what something seemed to be just a supposition at one time, mm -hmm. over time gets proven. So what here he is saying is there is enough proof, and the scientists will say, he claims, that the waste disposal is what causes these earthquakes. It's right. man-made. However, how do you pinpoint it to a specific well? That's the real crux of the problem. How hard is it going to be to find impartial juries? Because people should know that in Oklahoma, a lot of people work in the oil and gas industry. Well, you know, it's fascinating to me because at first blush, when I really studied this, I said, these jurors are going to give these plaintiffs, and by the way, the second case, which it opens up to, could be a class action case worth tens of millions of dollars, that these jurors are going to say, well, of course, if we even look at the Oklahoma website, the government website, it talks about seismic activity, earthquake activity being caused by this problem. However, you hit the nail on the head. One in five people in Oklahoma has an employment from oil and gas. So there is a thing about the balance in the mind of a juror. Am I looking at the economy of my state? Am I looking at my welfare? Mm -hmm. Or do I just want damages? The moral of this story is this. Settle, settle, settle. Yeah. <laughs> if, they, if they had done that in the beginning, yeah. Yeah. it would have been $75,000 worth of injury damage, 110000 worth of personal damage, and now look what we've done. We've really, really added that word to all of our vocabulary. Settle, settle, settle. <laughs> Thank you so much.